What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and got another public safety diving video for you. And a couple of you requests in our last video for us to commentate over this, kind of explain exactly what it is we're doing when we're underwater, what we're looking for, and the things that's kind of going through our mind. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Uh, here we're just getting ready and basically we've already ran sonar of the area. Uh, this is a vehicle that we've actually known about for a little while. We're just going down to confirm that it is a vehicle to try to get some uh, pertinent information to contact law enforcement on. Um, and so that's what this dive is actually all about. So here we've made our entry uh, and we're just kind of regrouping here at the surface. Now you're going to hear other talking throughout this video simply because both of us are on comm units. So you may hear us talking back and forth and I'll try to explain exactly what we're saying um, and why it's important to uh, this particular dive. But here we're just making our descent down and we basically marked the vehicle with several different buoys via our sonar. So as we drove across where we assumed the car to be as soon as we saw the car on sonar or the return of the sonar, uh, basically we threw a buoy in the water, then we made a couple pass uh, back across it, and then we tried to get our search area uh, narrowed down. Now we were very lucky in the fact that this initial line took us straight to the vehicle and it was a pickup truck and so the line actually landed into the bed of the pickup but we're going to descend on down and then i'll kind of commentate over certain parts of this and try to explain exactly what it is we're doing So here I'm just checking my depth really quick. I think our maximum depth here was about 27 feet. Uh, and we're going really slow. We didn't really see any other hazards on the sonar, uh, but we're still going slow with our descent, making sure our gear is operating good. Uh, and here you can see we're actually approaching the vehicle. This happens to be the driver's side, rear part of the bed of the pickup truck. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is actually orientate myself so that I know exactly what part of the vehicle I'm on, where I'm at. I can kind of get an orientation of what it's going to be like at the surface, and then I'm going to regroup with the other diver, and we're actually going to start our initial investigation. So as I try to orientate where I'm at on the vehicle, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of look for the tag. That's going to let me know that I'm actually at the rear. Now, obviously, this is a pickup truck. I know that I'm at the rear, but this is just going to give me a good starting point to start an initial 360 search of the vehicle as well. Uh, and what I'm doing here is actually just descending down the tailgate of the vehicle, trying to locate the tag to see if I can get a tag number. Um, I got a good uh, feeling at this point due to the visibility and the seal that has covered this vehicle that it's not going to take much for us to kind of murky up the environment so i'm going ahead and trying to log the tag as quickly as i can i know that my my camera will pick up the audio and i'm also going to try to get the video from the uh, tag as well just so i can write the tag number down i do have a slate with me that i'm going to write down and then of course i'll communicate with the other diver hey where you at let's regroup and let's start our investigation the line is in the bed of the truck One quick note, if you listen closely, you're going to hear me repeat the tag number over and over and over. Um, and this is just so that I can memorize what the tag is in the event, say I lose my slate, my uh, pencil breaks that I'm writing on the slate, or maybe even the uh, audio and video doesn't come out well, at least I'll have it in my head exactly what that tag number is. That helps us identify the vehicle as well.
one piece of advice that I can give new PSDs and UCIs out there is take your time when you're doing investigations like this. Don't rush through anything. Uh, as you can see, I'm spending quite a bit of time trying to memorize this tag here, and I'm saying it over and over in my head. Um, I'm actually going to write it down on a slate. Uh, we, in law enforcement, we have an old saying that if you don't write it down, it didn't happen. So you'll see me pull out a slate here. I'm actually going to record um, the tag number. Um, and like I said, I just repeat it over and over and over until I have it memorized. And then, of course, I'm going to write it down so that um, I, don't, I don't forget it once I get back on land. But now that I've got it wrote down, I'm going to reconnect with my... Um, my dive buddy there and we're going to do a 360 search around the vehicle and another primary goal that we have of course is marking the vehicle so we're going to put a permanent buoy on this vehicle in the event that the two that we drop down gets moved due to current or anything like that as well where are you at Now that I've reconnected with the other diver, uh, we are actually at the driver's window. Our first thing at this point that we want to focus on, of course, is there any bodies in here? Uh, thankfully, there was no body in the driver's seat, which is all that we could tell. Um, we are going to go ahead and reach in to confirm whether there's a key in the ignition, and that actually tells us a lot of information. It tells us whether or not this vehicle, um, you know, we can tell whether it was in gear, whether it was driven in, um, you know, was it just pushed in? So information like that is, is very vital to an investigation as well, which we can confirm here that the keys are still in the truck. And there you can hear him reconfirming with me that the keys are in the ignition, and then you can hear my response. Uh, basically, I said 10-4, we need to go ahead and put a permanent buoy on it as well. Uh, we're actually going to go over on the passenger side to put the buoy. Um, no particular reason other than we've already mucked up this side, and it's going to be a little difficult to see what we're doing, so we're going to go over to a clear side of the vehicle just so I can have a little bit better visibility to actually operate to deploy a, an SMB on the vehicle. The SMBs are very important, or any type of surface marking buoy, simply because um, this is still an investigation. It's more, more than just searching for a vehicle. Yeah, it's there. Let's either winch it out or lift it out with bags. This is a crime scene. Um, at the very least, it's considered littering in the lake, which is a misdemeanor crime here in North Carolina. Um, obviously, this, this is a stolen vehicle, which we found out after the fact, of course. But uh, this is still a crime scene, and law enforcement need to be able to document what that crime scene looks like, um, whether they do a sketch, a um, say an aerial shot of the area, and having these buoys um, in the water at different locations, the front of the vehicle, the back of the vehicle, it can give them a better orientation of how that vehicle is sitting in the water column, and it can also indicate exactly what happened to the vehicle as it hit the water. So as basically as this truck came down um, the roadway into the waterway, it drifted a little bit or floated, and it actually turned um, almost 180 degrees before it came to a final rest at 27 foot of water. So it gives this part of the investigation gives a good storyline to actually what happened uh, when the vehicle actually entered the water. And there you can hear me asking him where the mirror is. Um, 
basically I need something to tie the line to and the best the best option at this point is we're going to use the passenger door mirror just to wrap the line around and then of course I'll secure it to where it can't be removed. Um, we do run the risk unfortunately because this is a public lake uh, between the time of this video and the time that we'll actually get the vehicle out that a boater can come by and and remove the buoy at the surface but in all fairness we do have this vehicle marked on sonar we have the coordinates marked so it, it's pretty simple for us to go right back out to where it's at to send down 27 foot and put another buoy on it so we're not really concerned at that point uh, but like i said the the buoy does allow us to um, show an accurate picture from the surface of what this vehicle's orientation is at the bottom And once again, you can hear us just repeating that tag number over and over and over so that we have it. Uh, we're actually going to do a 360 sweep of the vehicle now to finish the investigation. We're going to reconfirm the tag one more time just to make sure that we both understand what it is. We're going to try to get some more information as far as what year it was registered just to give us a better time frame of when the, the vehicle went missing. Uh, and during our 360 search, I know someone's going to ask later on, when, when we reached in to confirm that the keys are there why didn't we swim on through the vehicle typically speaking unless it's a rescue operation which this is not this is a search and recovery operation unless it's a rescue we never really penetrate more than an arm's length inside of a vehicle or inside of a structure so that's why we didn't go any further than just arm's length now one of the things that we could have done was actually check each door to see if they were unlocked so that we could do an arm's uh, length search in each door but the problem at that point once again this is still a crime scene we want to be able to preserve as much evidence as possible during this investigation and sometimes it's a whole lot better to leave the evidence in the vehicle undisturbed and then remove the vehicle from the water to retrieve that evidence versus opening the door um, and running the risk of losing that evidence before we actually uh, lift the vehicle to the surface And as you can see now, the tag is pretty visible. Uh, by doing our investigation around and coming back and reconfirming the tag, we gave the sediment and the, um, the turbidity time to settle there in the water, which allowed us just to reconfirm and get the tag on video as well. Uh, we're going to finish up our investigation here, and then we're going to head on up to the surface and contact uh, the local law enforcement department of this uh, area. Um, we do have some connections with law enforcement, myself being a former deputy in the county which I reside, and the gentleman that's diving with me is a uh, first sergeant with our local highway patrol. So having those connections makes it easy for us to, to contact and to get information as far as out to who it needs to go to to the the local jurisdiction we don't actually have to dial 911 we can actually call the local jurisdiction in itself and say this is what we've got how, how would you like for us to proceed and we've got a pretty good working relationship with our local pu public safety departments but guys that's it for this dive I hope you learned something from it I know a lot of you guys have been asking for more commentated videos um, when we do searches like this or investigative searches searches like this and, and I do hope you learned something if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can we hope to be making an update video on this as well as we do lift it to the surface but we're kind of at the mercy of the law enforcement department and as far as what they're wanting to do with it but I do appreciate you coming on this dive once again if you got any questions put it down in the comment section below if you liked it hit that like button for me and definitely share it. as always guys make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter like us on Facebook pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business guys we really appreciate you watching our videos if you liked it make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications if you want to see some other cool videos make sure to click these links here they could be scuba tips they could be diving videos search and recovery videos or gear reviews once again guys we really appreciate it